Let's stop for a moment at Broad and High. We are at the Wellington School. Uh, I am a math teacher. Uh, I teach in the upper school, so geometry, um, statistics, algebra 2. Um, and I'm also the chess coach here. We're going to do a position today. What? Position. Give you a position you're going to play for. When I first started teaching at Wellington, I brought some kids over to one of the tournaments, and one of the section monitors was my old friend from middle school who I had known playing chess. And so we talked for, for about an hour, um, both saying that we wanted chess to be more widespread throughout Columbus. We started a nonprofit uh, to, uh, whose mission is to get students playing, especially from the inner city schools to play chess. Okay, one other thing is they're gonna play with clocks. Each person gets 10 minutes with a five second delay. Okay, so they're gonna get 10 minutes with a five second delay. Then they get five minutes of clock. I think one of the misconceptions is that that I've heard at least, um, and like from like students, you know, like, oh, I'm like not smart enough to play chess. And I think that that is a total misconception. I think anybody who, who is interested in the game um, can, can pick it up. And just like anything else in life, like the more you study and the more you do it, the better you get. Catch Columbus at its creative best on Broad and High, Thursday nights at 8 o'clock on WOSU-TV.